What's up? What's popping? What it is, ho? What's, what's up? up? What's up? <laughs> can a nigga? Hey, I don't know. The- can a nigga get in, in your gut? Sure can. <laughs> I sure the fuck can. <laughs> you sure can. Guts ready. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Guts available. Guts for sale. <laughs> Get your guts here! <laughs> guts here! <laughs> I'm crying. Girl, when I had posted about the Ziggy cup, because the Ziggy cup is the cup you can supposed to be able to use during sex. Right. Someone was like, oh, I can't use that because I'll be up in them guts. And I'm just like, no, nigga, you're not in all these guts. That's not how sex works at all, you fam. Ignorant. Ignoramus! <laughs> <laughs> Bruh, I'm like, do niggas not realize, like, there's like a whole system down there. Yeah, it's not just like an open like yeah, tunnel. Yeah, nigga, you're really not in my stomach. Like, uh, it's a saying, but like, right? You ain't really up in you there. You can get deep, but nigga, you can't like. <laughs> That's, you can't even. You're not finna go in my colon and. Like, no, no, I mean, and you, then go into my small intestine, yeah, my large you, intestine. If you do, you doing something wrong. Bruh, <laughs> I don't. Should, I don't want that. There's no way that you can accidentally do some shit like that if you Fair. do that. So <laughs> hell no, <nah>. nigga, surgeon. <laughs> Well, I'm in here. I'm gonna go ahead and give you a colonoscopy. <laughs> okay, hell no! Nah. Like, yeah, no, that's not how it works. I mean, it's cute that you thought that. Mm-hmm. Like, you do realize, like, babies come out of there, right? And like, our nothing else falls out after. <laughs> but, I be feeling like niggas just be thinking like it's just the baby just floating around. Like, you just your heart. <laughs> and, it's like your heart, an empty space, and then your, your pussy. Like, <laughs> <laughs> niggas act like there's not like. <laughs> Like there's not a whole system in the middle. No, yeah, and like the same system you got. Yeah, but I just I'm just like it's cute that you think like, and even when niggas be like, oh, she loose, like nigga, you wouldn't be able to tell really. Like, I mean, I'm sure sometimes, but like nigga, not majority of time. Okay, like I've. I ain't gonna tell them myself. But I'm just saying. I mean, I was gonna say, you know, like one of my one of my homegirls told me Perfect. she fucked two niggas in the same day. <laughs> <laughs> my homegirl said she said a long girl. time ago <laughs> mm-hmm. she fucked two niggas in the same day. Facts. And uh, niggas couldn't tell the difference. Big facts. Like y'all are cute that y'all think that, but like really, our pussy is like stronger than any muscle that you ever have will ever have Elva. so like humble yourself Elva. humble yourself yes so um yeah how's your week been oh it's been it was, good this shit got real crazy in the beginning <laughs> it sure did damn what an intro <laughs> um <laughs> um so far so good i mean okay disclaimer y'all we are recording early this week mm-hmm. so if any shit goes down Facts. between today which mm-hmm. i'm not gonna say what day it is mm-hmm. just know we early mm-hmm. uh anything go down between today and friday we'll just try to get to it next okay week. yeah we'll just have to write in the notes and leave it yeah but niggas gotta record early but so far so good i mean it's been good it's been good bro like okay i've been posting on my instagram uh-huh about these shoes <laughs> yeah i've been seeing these like random pair of shoes uh-huh. or whatever mm-hmm. and the shoes literally be looking like somebody just got snatched about them <gasps> damn and it's like it's not like i'm just seeing one shoe like uh-huh. i'm seeing a pair uh-huh. the first pair i saw i was like it was like a pair of dress shoes uh-huh. and they were like in between my car and the car next to me in walmart uh-huh. and so as i was recording the video once i finished the dude who was parked next to me he came and he was like those are your shoes i was like <laughs> What? Don't you like, nigga, the fuck am I gonna do with a pair of men's okay. dress shoes Don't right now? Play me. Yeah, I was like, I ain't gonna fuck in your car with your groceries. <laughs> but apparently, like, this is a thing. And I found this like Reddit thread mm-hmm. where people are talking about anybody else been finding abandoned pair of shoes. What? Yes. Oh no. And like the thread goes back to like 2016. Mm-hmm. But it's apparently like a thing. And of course everybody was saying like, you know, people being abducted mm-hmm. or people being like abducted by aliens and shit like that. Mm-hmm. But it's low key weird that I'm like seeing these shoes. And what's crazy is one of our friends, mm-hmm. I'm not going to say her name in case you don't want to buy. No, she sent me a video. She found a pair of shoes inside of a parking lot. And mm-hmm. she was like, bro, what the fuck? <laughs> and I was like, fam, it's some weird shit going on. Y'all, Bruh, you know, everybody from the start sending you shoes now, right? <sighs> Y'all. <laughs> y'all. You know everybody's gonna finish start finding you sending you shoes. Uh, God just, damn. If I if, if it what just says word. scene, just know I saw it, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna respond. 
fine. Bro, just because I had posted today and I had fucking uh, 28 DMs. And I For was real? like, hell yeah. I was like, nigga, what the fuck? Golly. I was like, shit. Ain't no way I can respond to everybody. Some of them just going to be on scene. Yeah, I just usually hit a like. It would like if I saw it. Bro, I just be like. But it's real. It's some weird shit going on. Like I don't know if it's just because niggas been in the house for the last year. Mm-hmm. But it's a lot of really weird, wicked shit going on out here, y'all. Mercury's in Gatorade. So somebody yeah. confirm that to me, because <clears throat> you know, of course, a lot of old niggas be. You know, mm-hmm. they they coming back. They just you know, old niggas be old niggas. Yeah, old niggas be old niggas. And just I'm just like, hey, you how. How are you from six months ago? Right. Okay. So. Oh, hey, Mister Two Thousand Nineteen. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah. So is your baby mom still crazy? Hmm. Still? Oh, okay. Go handle that. Bye. It's just like it's a lot of weird shit going on. So I'm just like, uh, yeah. You just gotta be. Yeah, it's a lot of weird shit going stay on. Stay safe. But you know what? I am covered. Okay. I am protected. Thanks. Y'all can keep all that weird shit away from me, though. Okay. But I was like, you know what? It's so crazy that we literally spend our whole lives trying to stay out of crazy people's way. Dang, that's a good way to think about that. Like, <laughs> you literally spend your whole life trying to stay a fuck away. Because, look, I don't be playing with people. Mm-hmm. I don't be playing with people. I was in, where was I? I think I went to the beauty supply. And mm-hmm. I heard this lady start yelling and getting loud. I was like, oh, nope, time to go. <laughs> <laughs> You didn't get what you came with there for? Nope. I'm finna put, <laughs> finna put these lashes down. Mm-hmm. No, I'm finna get the fuck up out of here. Because who ain't got time? Girl. People is going fucking bad shit crazy. But see, that's the thing, too. Like, that's how you know you're getting grown. Because you used to be, you know, I like to be a little around a little drama and all that <laughs> shit. But I was talking to a nigga recently. And he was just talking about, like, how he liked to fight and shit. I'm just like. Grow up. <laughs> yeah, no. Like, like that's cool. Because, like, nigga, first of all. I ain't gonna be violent, but first of all, yeah, like <laughs> shit get left, go left real fast. Yeah. I don't have time for nobody to be have taking think, thinking I'm something I'm not. Look, I don't play with nobody. I don't play with like, nobody. Like I don't. I'll try to avoid. If I know it's gonna be obfuscation, I probably ain't gonna go there. Like yeah, I'm good on all that shit. Bruh, I do not play with nobody. I don't play with no police. I don't play That's with facts. people. <laughs> Bruh, police get behind me. I turn into a Republican patriot. <laughs> Girl, I, don't, I don't even match with police on hinge. <laughs> Blame you. <laughs> nigga, nigga you a I, 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 I said, I asked nigga for, I was like, are you the real police? <laughs> I didn't know if you like a security guard or Bruh. if you really. I low key feel like you could probably order a sheriff's badge or something off Amazon. You can, but I gotta make sure. Like, nigga, <laughs> like, I, 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 yeah, can I, can, can you know that I smoke or is you gonna turn me in? I need to know some shit. I, I'd be worried about that, how much information they have access to. The police? Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, they can, they can do your background check. Hell yeah, look up all your shit. Not like it's anything on there, but nigga, I don't want you knowing like my address or, yeah. you know, like. Finding mm-hmm. it. Okay, well, low key, before you get started, what if that was like, have you ever had somebody like in a service industry look up your information? It's no. so, like, like you dropped your phone off somewhere and left your number and they called you instead of like asking you or like you had something fixed. And instead of them like asking you like for your number, they just like use the information they had on the phone. I'm like, hey, I'm so- Oh yeah, I have yeah. For real? Yeah, I have to do the T Mobile do that to me. I, I think I said that on here before. Mm. Yeah, do the T Mobile. I gave my number to look up my account. Nigga texted me later. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, hey, this is I'm like, nigga, you can't do that. Uh, I, well, have you? Yeah, remember that Hispanic guy that I had doing shit around the house? Oh hell yeah! I hired and then he got freaky real quick, real quick, and I was like, whoa. I like Big Mama. <laughs> Nigga wanted to buy me a toy. I was like, shit's good. I was like, damn, do I really want a new bathroom? Like, how bad do I really want it? Cause bruh, nigga will come <sighs> fix the whole house for a jerk off. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it made me think like shit, I done done a lot more for a lot less. Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. I was like, shit, what else do I need done? That nigga was useful. He hung, look, I had security bar in my back, my uh, back door now. What he else? did do some shit. Yeah, fi- oh, p- fix my door. Well, like, at least he made himself useful. Hell yeah. A lot of niggas just, uh, what are you doing? What are you doing? Don't do nothing uh, for yeah, you. He's hell like, yeah. God damn, nigga, what is you here for? Hell yeah. But uh, yeah, he, <laughs> nigga started getting real handsy. And, and then I guess he realized I wasn't fucking him, so he stopped responding to my messages. <laughs> 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 He's like, go tell somebody else to paint your wall. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you prude bitch girl <laughs> anyway you got your uh yes song? I, I didn't even ask you how oh. your week been girl it's a blur like it, it. it's it is a day that it is and i'm just like fuck slow down because i got shit to do but it's dragging though i don't know if it's because of the weather or what but a bitch finally not itching so that's all i care yeah, that's, about look at god 
Look at them. That's all I. That's all I really care about. So yeah, facts. Other than that, I'm good. Hey, ain't it a blessing? Hey, uh, you got your. You want to do your song first? Uh, yeah, I got it. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> okay. I'm trying to keep it alive and not compromise the feeling we love. You trying to keep it deprived and only co-sign what radio does. And I'm not looking right past. And I'm looking right past you. We live in a world. We live in a world on two different axles. Sound familiar. You live in a world. You live in behind the mirror. Mm. I know what you're scared of. The feeling of feeling emotions inferior. This shit is vital. I know you had to. This shit is vital. I know you had to. Loyalty. Close. Oh. Um, Die in a pitiful vein. Tell me watch. Tell me a watch and a chain. Is way more believable. Give me a feasible game. Rather a seasonal name. I'll let the people know this is something you can blame. On yourself. On yourselves you can remain. Stuck in a box. I'm going to break out and hide every lock. I'm going to break out and hide every lock. <sighs> okay so it's Kendrick. Mm-hmm. It's not loyal. Mm-mm. But it's close. Um, I, oh, uh, done. Uh, uh, what's damn? What's it? I don't know. I know, but I don't know. You do. Bitch, don't kill my vibe. Oh, Bitch, fuck. don't kill my vibe. <laughs> fuck. Damn. So, you know, I'm not the biggest Kendrick fan, but I actually do actually like the what's the one? Uh, the, his album? Damn. Mad, no, Mad. Oh, Good Kid, Mad. Oh, yeah. no, bro. Oh, my God. <laughs> I just can't get into Kendrick. I'm, I tried, but that's that's the one I do because I felt like I felt like oh, this is like a whole story. So I really like them. But like, the- Good Kid, Mad City was really good. Mm-hmm. But like, ain't nothing fucking with Kendrick's first album, which is Section Eighty. Oh, okay. He got a song on there called ADHD. Mm-hmm. Eight doobies to the face, <laughs> fucked out. <laughs> Twelve bottles in the cake, nigga, fucked out. That's my shit. You probably got it's a high tolerance niggas. when your age don't exist. Like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. He's talking about how all of us niggas is fucked up because all the parents was doing goddamn <laughs> drugs in the 80s. And I mean, now everybody got ADHD babies. and everybody, yeah, just everybody was fucked off. Mm. Kendrick wasn't too far off, and that's an old ass album, but that's one of my favorite Kendrick songs yeah. ever. When everybody couldn't put Kendrick on a mountain rush, I'm just like, oh no, Kendrick goes hard. Like Kendrick is up there, he up there. How can you have Cole up there and not Kendrick? Kendrick just be rapping too fast. He just sound, it's sound, I don't know. Kendrick be rapping some real shit though. I'm sure he does. I just don't understand it. it just be that's too fast. Blood of Fire was definitely ahead of his time. Mm, I just really, I just really. Like slow shit, so oh, I feel you on that too. Yeah, it's it's very hell yeah. When people ask me like, oh Tim, play some play like you take the ox, I'd be like, y'all, I listen to a lot of chill ass <laughs> vibe music. Mm-hmm. It might not be the vibe you looking for. Yeah, everybody else want to listen to shit that they play in clubs, and I I ain't really got that for you. Yeah. What you want me to put on? Uh, Dreams and nightmares. Hell yeah, <laughs> hell yeah. <laughs> Dirty Sp- uh, something by Future. Hell yeah, something, something by, by Drake. Drake. Something by Summer Walker. Uh, somebody Nicki Minaj, yeah, and repeat, <laughs> rinse say, and repeat. Like, <laughs> you want me to play Young Thug? Like, yeah, I, I ain't got it for you. But if you want to hear some chill, like yeah. music, mood music, setting music, yeah. okay, I can do that. Bitch, I'm gonna call me for the ain't music because I'm I'm <laughs> I'm gonna turn on some Johnny Taylor. That's some Anita Baker. Bitch, I heard I, that. I'm uh, old school uh, '90s vibes over here. Uh, slow shit, love Come music. On. I love you, music. Okay. Um. I think you gonna know this. I hope. I never get the shit right. I be like, I bet people be listening to me and be like, damn, Tim, so fucking embarrassing. <laughs> nah, you said you ain't, but you you know your shit when you know your shit. Um, I think I started something. I got what I wanted. <laughs> Didn't I? Can't feel nothing. Superhuman. Even when I'm fucking Viagra popping. Every single. Record auto tuning, zero emotion, oh, muted this. emotion, pitch corrected, uh, computed emotion. emotion. Uh huh. I blame it on the model broad with the Hollywood smile. Uh, 
I blame it on a model bro <laughs> with the Hollywood smile. Oh, oh. Oh. Stripper oh. booty with a rack like, wow. Brain, Brain like Berkeley, Berkeley better at Coachella. <laughs> I went to see Jigga. She went to see Detour. <laughs> Perfect. I took a seat and on the ice cold cool. lung. She, she handed me an ice cold cool bunk, bunk, whatever. <laughs> she said she want to be a dentist really bad. That Frank. Ooh. She in school doing, doing porn, porn in the bed. bed. At least she working. Hey, <laughs> girl, I can't feel my oh. face. Mm-hmm. So that was on a mixtape, right? Mm-hmm. The whole mixtape. And I think it got remastered. Wasn't the mixtape nostalgia? I think so. And then I think or the got, accurate integrity. I don't remember the whole mm-hmm. mixtape. Yeah, I think it got remastered, and then it was like it was like really long. Mm-hmm. The whole mixtape. The uh, whole fucking mixtape. Frank Ocean. I don't fucking blame you, dog. That nigga came in, dropped <laughs> some fucking classic ass records because mm-hmm. Channel Orange still goes hard. I listened to it the other day, I from you. front to back, the <laughs> whole thing. Tequila. I'm like fucking pyramids is like. Pyramid is next level shit. That song is like nine minutes long, fam. But the song jam from beginning Hell to end. Yes, bro. And Pilot Jones, that's my shit. That Pilot Jones, mm-hmm. oh, that is my shit. I love that song. Pink and blue. Oh, yes. Like, and then not only that, but the features and like um, appearances Frank Ocean be doing too, like, be bad as fuck. Yeah. Like, I keep thinking about what, go, was it Church in a While? Oh, yes. Like, even him just sitting, biking. Bruh. Like, even just his appearance, I was like, Frank Ocean, like, Bruh. Frank Ocean is what Summer Walker wishes she probably could do. I low-key think that Summer Walker is the female Frank Ocean. I think she's <laughs> aspiring to it. She's trying to get to that level to where she now don't have to do shit. Like, she'd be, she's still new. She's, she'll get there. She's like she'll get there. But I was actually listening to well, no, not listening. Um, whenever I rewatched all the seasons of Insecure, uh-huh. <clears throat> there was a song because I started just like I was like, oh, let me get this on, let me get this on, let me get this on. Uh-huh. And there was a song. Do you remember this? It was Frank Ocean biking. That's what you said. With Frank, uh, yeah, biking with Jay Z yeah. and Tyler the Creator. And uh-huh. I heard it. and I was like, I literally just said biking. I didn't hear you say that. Uh, I literally, yeah. Oh, I, I missed that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was like, fuck. Yes, that song go hard. <laughs> For real. Like the arrangement, I'm just like, man, this is some genius ass shit. Mm-hmm. Like, I love it. But, um, hey, best friend. Ain't it a blessing? You are listening to another episode of Hear You Podcast. Podcast. This is Tam. This is B. You ready to go and get started, That's, bro? I was like, shit, did I say it right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was texting too. <laughs> hey, let's get it. <laughs> All right, bro. You ready to go and get started in this week with the shit? Let's go. All right, let's do a hundred rounds. Portia. <laughs> Peach. <laughs> Um, hot dog. What? Her baby daddy. Oh, he's a he owns a hot dog company. Oh, <laughs> Luther King. I thought it was Aldo. <laughs> hot dog. <laughs> um, <laughs> Underground Railroad. <laughs> I forgot that's how we got introduced to Portia, Bruh. But you know what? She didn't came a long damn way. Cause a now she long. Portha, Portia Luther King. <laughs> Okay, now she's a pioneer. She a done po- came, pioneer. She done came a real long way. <laughs> okay. All right, so it. I don't think we ever really talked about it on here. Mm-hmm. But, you know, there was, there's was there been some drama. I think it was like Mother's Day whenever uh, Portia did the post. Mm-hmm. And um, she had posted Simon. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he just looked like, he, he was like a thumb. <laughs> He's just, <laughs> he's just not a child. You know, the thing is, because Simon is Nigerian, right? Uh-huh. The thing about Nigerian men mm-hmm. is Nigerian men either look really, really, really fucking good mm-hmm. or they look really, really, really bad. Mm-hmm. Like with Nigerian men, there's no in-between. <laughs> in between, uh-huh. Like you're not going to find like a, a medium ugly dude. Like mm-hmm. he's just either going to be not attractive mm-hmm. or he going to be like, you're going to be like, fuck that mm-hmm. nigga fine. I don't think Simon is unattractive. He just look real. I don't think he's cute. 
He's not. I didn't say that now. I mean, but if you squint hard enough and you see that that nigga worth forty million, uh huh. He, he look. He, you you know what brown shirt you were, you okay. is real cute tight shirt okay. tight shirt you is real cute. Oh, man, Simon, you bring your ass over okay. here, girl. <laughs> shit, I feel you know you make love to a forty million dollar nigga. Yeah, it, if, he if gonna it, look cute. I mean, I'm coming. Look every time. Uh, look forty million. And he is too. <laughs> he is too hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna make that nigga head explode. <laughs> Hell, yeah. Hell yeah. I'm gonna be touching parts of him he ain't even had touched before. Sunshine. <laughs> all, all that nigga's like facts. Hell yeah. What? Five, Simon worth 40 fucking million dollars. Everybody's mad at Portia. Okay, so backstory. Okay. You didn't watch the season, right? No. Okay, so. On the season, there was an episode where Portia went oh Portia, Tanya, and I can't remember who else. They went over to this girl named Fallon's house. Mm-hmm. And Fallon was introduced as Portia's friend mm-hmm. on the show. Mm-hmm. Um, they went to Fallon's house. Fallon was actually married to Simon. Mm-hmm. Swam in the pool, everything, blah, 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 blah. Mm-hmm. Basically, now Portia is dating Simon. Mm-hmm. Fallon is out the picture, mm-hmm. kind of. Um, <laughs> kind of. And now Portia is engaged to Simon. Mm-hmm. So it's turned into this big uproar. What I don't like about Simon is Simon is very loud for me. Mm-hmm. Like very. Simon is getting online, posting receipts. Mm-hmm. It's very, it's, it's very. Uh, I don't want to say woman, woman behavior, but it's very, it's very sassy. I say that <laughs> sassy behavior. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga definitely sassy. is sassy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um. So he's been posting like a lot of receipts and everything. Simon is claiming. And what everybody was saying was like, it just not adding up because apparently Simon and Fallon, I, I can't remember if their divorce is finalized. It's or not finalized, but I know that he, she accused, he accused her of cheating. Yeah. He accused her of fucking the trainer. And, but this is actually before like it was released to him and Portia, Portia were together. Yeah. I was like, like a month before or whatever. I don't know. Yeah. But the math ain't mathing up. It's because, really not. Cause like at this point, it's a lot of overlap there. Mm-hmm. And then there's some other girl that has jumped in and it showed that like Simon was like zelling her money. He sold he zelled her money like the end of March. Uh-huh. But Portia claims that they're in love and they're engaged uh-huh. and it, I'm going to stick beside him. Mm. So, yeah, like you said, everybody is mad at Portia, mm-hmm. which I'm just like, girl, as there's plenty like Portia can really get any Anybody. rich nigga yeah. that she want. Mm-hmm. I just feel like rich niggas are not like slim pickings for mm-hmm. Portia. Yeah. But I also think that Portia is one of them that's like, she getting a little tired. Mm-hmm. You know, she got her baby. Mm-hmm. Y- your your baby is by a millionaire. Mm-hmm. And she's just like, well, you know, it's time for me to just settle down. She's mm-hmm. been married before. Yeah. But I'm just like, this man clearly has a reputation uh-huh. of jumping from relationship to relationship. Okay, a pattern. Him and Fallon weren't even married that long. It just seemed like I feel I really it seemed like it's a like one of them whirlwind things. Like it just moves really fast, but it's gonna end really fast and may end even worse than Hell it started. Yeah. I mean, I'm all for, you know, I I love, you know, love and happy endings and stuff like that. It seemed like she really happy, but I just feel like it ain't gonna end well. Cause this nigga Girl. this nigga seemed like he I don't want Okay, so from what I saw I feel like the dude is a drug dealer or something. I don't know. <laughs> Simon? Nah, Jalen. Oh, the other nigga? Yeah, because, like... I think he's a, a, just a trainer that be fucking rich niggas' wives. Oh, like, you think it's an ar- arranged? Like, I think it's just, like, one of them things. I think he just kind of gets his way in. He gonna fuck a rich nigga's wife, mm-hmm. and especially while the rich nigga's gone. Rich niggas usually don't be around as much. Did you, mm, so you really think they were fucking... Mm. But I this blog I follow, she was like, "Oh yeah, no, Jalen's not even the nigga that she was like really cheating on you with. It's another nigga." Ooh. But then you remember video got um, released of a uh, Fallon asking a nigga to marry her. Huh? Yeah, yes. I don't wait. It was the same weekend that the Porsche stuff like really got leaked. Bro, what the fuck is going on in Atlanta? That's why I was just like, man, what the fuck is wrong? Let me tell you something. It's the goddamn chicken and waffles. I, I don't, or the peaches. What I is promise, it? I will go in that kitchen and break <laughs> every glass and swallow <laughs> the broken glass before I ask a nigga to marry me. Oh, girl, I will, I will mop the ocean with my eyelashes. I promise. Twice. <laughs> I promise. I will sweep the beach. I will cross the ocean for you. <laughs> before, <laughs> before nigga, I, what you you propose. think you think. That me will get on my knees yeah. and ask a man 
a man a man a man a man a heterosexual male you you think that i'm gonna get on my knee and put a ring on your finger you crazy as hell and you smoking crack you, you smoking <laughs> crack dicks <laughs> I'm not fucking doing it. <laughs> Little glass dicks. Hell no. Nah. Like, the fuck? Nah. Thanks. Negative. I didn't know that. Yes. I mean, I don't, it's just, it's just something. And I, I've talked about this before in my story. It's just something about me. There's some things, if I do it, I feel like the big dog now. And I feel like I'm the, I'm the nigga. <laughs> and if I, yeah. Yeah. And once I feel like that, it's over. It's it's pretty much over. The, the respect it's, is gone out the window. It's a wrap. Now now we fighting them as equals. <laughs> respect. How am I supposed to respect you? I mean, I mean, we wear the same size shoes. Bruh. I mean, we like no, it's too much. Like mm -mm. that's why I'm just like it's so messy. Like this whole thing is messy. And then she went and sat down with somebody and went live. Yeah. And then pulling her receipts. I'm There's like, like a tell all from Fallon's side that's supposed to be coming out. Portia done went and tattooed the damn man name on her neck like a dummy. I just feel Portia is just like one of them. She better add an E on it. Mm -hmm. She better so add an E on Simon Simone. <laughs> Why would you marry Simone? Because they're not gonna last, nigga. You better not walk. Hey, whoever Simone is, better find one. Uh, I just, uh, it just, it's not gonna end well. I hope she's happy for a long time. Because Portia just sounds like one of them like romantic head over heels, all in. She is. She really is. But after watching this season, and mm -hmm. I'm not mad at it. Like Portia is also freaky as hell, and like <laughs> she enjoys like doing her thing. Because mm -hmm. after the way that they were with that stripper. <sighs> Portia was like, cover up all the cameras. What? She's like, cover all of them. Girl, they had Portia <laughs> on camera putting the towel on top. She was like, ain't nobody got no mic on. Girl, next thing you know, you heard moaning in the distance. What? Yeah. Portia literally told them women, one of you bitches is eating my pussy tonight. <gasps> she said that. Oh. She I said, I don't Portia. know which one, okay. but one of you bitches is eating my pussy tonight. And oh. she definitely got her pussy ate. Oh, okay. Well, girl, because another girl came out and was like, yeah. <laughs> basically said she had ate out Portia I don't eat Portia pussy I ain't gonna lie like I don't even like y'all know my stance on pussy eating and I'm <laughs> like strict I'm like Portia fine but I don't know I don't know if she pussy eating fine man I would devour I would <laughs> marinate grill saute <laughs> I, look, yeah Portia Portia like you smell good oh yeah she gonna smell good Portia like she gonna teach you what to do like but I feel like I would eat out candy before I eat out Portia Por candy rich man. Candy's rich, rich. Bitch, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Portia is Portia is rich by uh, osmosis. Man, I can't. can't uh, you can go deeper. <laughs> <laughs> right there, Tan. Right, right there, Tan. Have you been watching The Shy? <laughs> no. I, I, girl, my TV been doing some weird shit. I don't even know how to get shit on her no more. So, no. <laughs> be so frustrated i don't watch it bro candy is you know candy on the oh, shot yeah. playing the mayor wife girl that, that sex scene was so i'm like i know candy could do better than that bro no on the spoiler alert i guess <laughs> i'm really not gonna say much mm -hmm. um the mayor was about to like fuck this other woman mm -hmm. and candy walked in and she was like i guess i didn't get the invite <laughs> And I was like, man, Kenny, you take your bitch ass back out. <laughs> Cause you finna kill the whole girl. Not take your bitch ass back out. Girl, Candy sat on the couch and she was like, why are y'all stopping? <laughs> I was just like, she's like, I like to watch. I was like, bruh. You know what? Wow. Enough is enough, Candy. <laughs> enough is enough. I love Candy. Candy just don't seem believable. That's it. She's she's not. That's the problem. She's she's the same actress as La La. And I hate to put Beyonce in there too. I just I don't I don't believe y'all. I love y'all. Love you. <laughs> I, I think I, you look great. <laughs> you sound good. But I just don't believe everything else. The acting just don't be there. <laughs> Well, now you so you all caught up on the show? Oh yeah, I'm caught up. Well, it's only like three episodes. I need to catch back up. Yeah, I watched it the other day and I was like, oh, the shy is still being the shy, you know, just causing black trauma. Oh, the shy is good for that. Like y'all gonna kill off the whole fucking st uh, actors who ain't doing, who ain't who ain't problematic. <laughs> Bruh, I'm like, they done got police brutality in yeah. there, cancer. 
I don't know why it's good for. Like, I'm just like, what more? Then the kids starting the podcast. Like, I'm just like, what is going? <laughs> Recording the podcast inside the damn closet. I'm just like, you know what, man? Like, I don't know if Lena on some Tyler Perry type shit or what. Just give her one show to focus on because she got she doing a lot. Lena's doing a whole lot. I'm just like the poor kids. <laughs> like, it's a lot of drug use and it's sex. I'm yeah. just like. Should we, should we be seeing like mm. they didn't thank God they didn't show like a sex scene between them but I'm just like the kids yeah yeah it's enough that they be talking about sex I'm just like all right like right. I feel like I shouldn't be in this conversation but it, I mean here I am facts. here I am <laughs> <laughs> like facts but Ooh. anyways we're completely off topic from Portia it's a, it's but you know, know how to, how Simon to said that he gonna love Portia out loud he posting her everywhere he taking her on trips and shit like that like. It's just very messy, and it, I'm just really hoping that this is not just like something for the next season. But it's gonna be on there, of course. Yeah, I know Andy Cohen is over there just eating this oh, shit up. Oh, that uh, <laughs> I was gonna say something. He's over there just just happy as can be, girl. He like, is ooh, devouring because uh, who somebody wasn't returning or something like that, or I maybe I'm getting shows confused. I don't know, but. I don't know if I heard about anybody now returning. Oh, Nene ain't on there. I know uh, Portia was getting a spinoff, though. Like, she was already getting a spinoff about oh, yeah. you know, something. So I'm just like, oh, this is perfect for whatever they got going on. Girl, right up Portia Alley. So, you know. Um, I like Portia, though. So I, I just really want her to be happy. But I just girl, feel like. I had to unfollow after that. Oh. Um, I had to unfollow. Okay, so how do you feel about the whole, like, they introduced her as a friend, but she, they were, were they really friends? How do you feel about that? I still feel like it's somebody that you even knew. Like, you mm-hmm. were friends enough to be at her house. Like, there's no way I would go to somebody's house. But see, I don't think they were... Fr- like, that's the thing, though. I, I feel like on, on them shows, they'd be like, okay, you guys are friends for this season, season so you're gonna, you're gonna, we're going to introduce you. You know, we need a, a way to introduce you on the show, so you're basically friends. You've been friends for a while. I'd be feeling like that, that'd be the case. So if it, if it was something like that, how do you feel? Like, they weren't really friends, but... Nah, I'm still not going to do it. Eh. It's, you, Portia, you know how many rich niggas are in Atlanta? Yeah, that's Why true. do you have to get... Like the rich nigga, you know, the rich nigga that everybody, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, if I had been at your house and I saw you and your wife there and y'all mm-hmm. showed me hospitality, there is no way I'm gonna fuck you, mm-hmm. much less date you and get engaged. Damn. I wouldn't even feel comfortable. It depends on how close we friends. Nah, if I don't know you and like I just see you in passing, that's different. But like, if I've like known, like, if I know, I don't know. It depends. To me, there's no time limit but, on me knowing you. But the thing if I is, know of you, I don't want your man. Mm, it depends. But I mean, I have the same four friends. So <laughs> <laughs> if anybody nigga come around me, I really don't know him. So I don't know. Yeah, facts. I don't know. But mm. you know, but best of luck to Portia. You know, hopefully it'll work out, and mm-hmm. you know, but hopefully all the drama and stuff can get offline because that's just really a lot. Is is a lot? Like the receipts and shit. Like I'm just like, what? I mean, every time I think they can do more, they they do more. So they absolutely do. Yeah, you better watch out for somebody to bring out some health records or something. It's a little scary. Facts. All right, all right. So let's go ahead and go on over to our next topic. All right, uh, we're gonna do a hundred rounds. JT, Uzi, I don't City Girls. Felon, I don't <laughs> Miami. Okay. <laughs> All right. So I feel like we have just been talking about JT a lot lately. Mm-hmm. Um, but so everything started this week with uh there was a young lady who um she posted a picture of a dress that she did that was like inspired by a dress that JT had on. Mm-hmm. Um and <clears throat> Somebody actually posted and said, posted the screenshot of the girl sending, you know, the message to JT or whatever Mm -hmm. and said, so my 18 year old friend made a dress JT inspired at, wait, okay, hold on. Y'all in words, y'all in words. (laughs) Okay. So, okay. She's missing punctuation. So my, my 18 year old friend made a dress. It's JT inspired and she at the city girls. All she wanted her to do was repost. And this was her response. And no, she never did repost because Instagram would have said she did. Just rude as fuck. Mm -hmm. So JT took that screenshot and said, dirty ass hoe trend, whoever you is, get the fuck away from me, bitch ass hoe. You and your hot ass little sister who had 30 motherfucking, 30 motherfuckers mentioning me prior. And I reposted from one of that. One of they ass. And like I said, bitch ass hoe, I ain't doing it no more. <laughs> fuck, uh, freak bitch or, f- oh, fuck bitch. Because <laughs> you know, the shade room be, 
Blurring shit, shit out. out. Yeah, like we. If it's out of words, just leave it. Right. <laughs> Hype as hell, a celebrity wrote you. Go tell it on a mountain, snitch ass bitch. Oh, damn. <laughs> shit. So this led, everybody was just like, damn, JT, like, mm-hmm. is all of that, like, really necessary? Mm-hmm. And, you know, a lot of people have been talking about um, how JT is really having like a really bad attitude lately mm-hmm. this one that this one psychic page that i post she was just like the demon is is inside jt Not demon <laughs> and that is where all of this is coming from she is possessed Shit. she is uzi servant what? all sorts of girls she's saying all sorts of stuff oh sounds cryptic no facts um so basically jt was just jt did end up going on live and she was just like you know her strong personality is due to everybody antagonizing her and she just wants for everybody to just leave her the fuck alone mm-hmm. but i'm just like girl mm-hmm. ain't no way in hell you went to jail for as long as you did mm-hmm. everybody out here buying fucking free jt t-shirts mm-hmm. everybody screaming free jt mm-hmm. and you gonna get out and every single person like she just be cussing them the fuck out and it don't just be like a leave me alone uh-huh. it be like fuck bitch some disrespectful shit mm-hmm. snitch ass bitch <laughs> and f- fuck ass hoe and it's just like god damn jt mm-hmm. is all of that really necessary it's 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 it's, it's a lot it's a whole lot it's and then she be at shows just up there just all these niggas want to fuck jt mm-hmm Hellcat is the SRT. Zoom, zoom. <laughs> Pull up G Wag 6'3. <laughs> Make a 55 suck day T. And, and Miami's over there. You know, uh, mm-hmm. I'm Miami. She all on the ground and mm-hmm. shit. Miami be looking good than a bitch. Dude, and she looked really good at, at uh, P's party. Hell yeah. With Diddy. And it's, they were like, the, the picture go of them holding bit. hands was weird. I, I don't know like why he, she I feel like that. he was helping down, helping her down. That's what I think it was too. But I'm just like Miami. You knew everybody. You knew the blogs are gonna pick that up. Exactly. Because she put that picture as the very last one in that little swipe. Good. I was just like, all I, right. But I feel her because everybody from the post it. Yeah. And she looked good than a bitch. She did and good. meanwhile, JT, I'm sorry. She did, yeah. It wasn't giving what it was supposed to give. I. I yeah. It, it wasn't. But the girls look good. Oh man. Side note, Jada. Jada my like Jada my fave. I don't Jada, care. Jada is like my little Jada cr- killed my little crush. It. Jada killed that shit. Jada did. She always looks good. I told y'all she got a good nigga. And and she, she ain't got no with, good man. And she back with that good nigga. Period. She back with that good nigga. Jada look good. That bitch Tommy. Tommy look. Tommy uh, look. Tommy look. She problematic probably, as hell. Yeah, t- Tommy is problematic and she's a child abuser and she probably shouldn't be around kids. <laughs> and an alcoholic. And she shouldn't be around liquor and she probably shouldn't have been at the party. And probably not. But Tommy understands the assignment every fucking single time. Bruh. Tommy be dre- And bro, did you see that dress is $28,000 that Tommy see- had on? No, but Tommy be dressing. Bro, Tommy like- always gets it. I, Tommy fine than a bitch. Very fine. I'm just like Tommy. <laughs> you okay? Would you eat Tommy pussy? No. Who else, who, who pussy would you eat? Jada. Yeah, that seems like a nice calm. I, if I'm gonna eat pussy, I need the pussy to have some some backing. <laughs> what does that mean? I needed to. I want them to like. If I'm gonna eat pussy and get to that, like I want there to be money involved. Oh, you want them? Yeah, I'm not eating pussy for free. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. I'm not eating pussy for free. So you you eat Oprah pussy? Hell yeah, I eat Oprah pussy. Are you crazy? (laughs) Oprah eating pussy for love. (laughs) I would eat the shit out of Oprah. What? What? I would lick Oprah from the front to the back. (laughs) You're crazy as hell. Not rude to the Oprah. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> All right, fail. Absolutely. All right, so we realize your oral ability has a price. Yeah, like if I'm going to eat pussy, and nothing against the pussy eaters, like. <laughs> <laughs> I swear. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with it. Nothing against the pussy eaters. But I'm I'm not I like I think women are beautiful and everything, but I'm not like attracted to women. So if mm-hmm. I'm gonna eat pussy, like I want there to Com- yeah, compensation. Yeah, like you know what I'm saying? Like I feel you. Let's go to a private island and let me eat your <laughs> pussy. Like <laughs> I'm not trying to go down the street and eat pussy. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> well, I don't remember what we were even talking about. <laughs> this one got so far off. Bruh, what were we talking about? Hold on. Oh shit, bro. JT. Okay, JT. Uh huh. Okay, so the night of <laughs> the night of P's party, uh-huh. there's probably gonna be some bitches out here that are like, well, I wouldn't want nobody wants you to eat their pussy no way. That's fine. <laughs> I, 
I don't really give a fuck. Go away, after. girl. <laughs> I don't really give a fuck. I've been sucking dicks for how many uh, years? I'm fine. <laughs> um, a long, long time. <laughs> hey, been a minute. Years ago. Um, been a minute. But um, JT at the party, like, mm. she then got on live and was like, oh, that that was just a dress that I had in my closet. And I dressed, and I was like, you Girl, looked don't tell it. Nobody, don't tell nobody that. It, the dress wasn't tailored. Mm -hmm. The blue hair threw me off. Yeah, it was a lot. Like, I was just like, all right, girl. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know. Like, JT is just really starting to feel like a disappointment fan. And I don't want to call her that. Mm -hmm. But she really starting to feel like a disappointment. And, like, some people were saying that um, JT is actually pregnant. Mm -hmm. And I was just like. I hope not. If JT pregnant, Miami going to have to hold it down again. I mean. Because Miami was out here at and Coachella pregnant, everything. Miami's going to have a, an, another documentary. Mm -hmm. Well, JT, JT came out last time <laughs> and we did good. But then she got with a nigga named Uzi. And I had to carry the back, the, the city girls yet again on my back. But I, that's what I always do. Like, <laughs> I feel like she is. And she will do it. She will do it. She will bring them to another year victorious Bruh. again. No, literally. Because whenever JT was in jail, I almost forgot it was two of them. And she was out there. She wasn't performing as Young Miami. She was performing as City, City Girls. Girls. Okay. She was it, She was them. And them was she. Facts. I mean, I love Miami. I ain't gonna. I, I do too. But I feel like, I feel like these girls are just very, I feel like they just, they talking to people like they regular. And that's all it really is. Yeah. And I just feel like they did that. They, they not, they need some media uh, training. They need some handlers like that has their accounts. I just really feel like they just forget they uh, got money and right. be talking to people like they don't. Yeah. But the thing is like, <laughs> if somebody hit me up and was like, Tan, can you repost this? And I don't repost it. And they're like, oh, you know, you never repost this. I would never in a million years mm -hmm. be like, you snitch ass bitch gonna sit here and post our messages. Fuck ass hoe. Get your stupid <laughs> ass off this fucking it. Like, I would never. I, I understand that, but I also can feel like, you know, 30 people be like, why ain't you repost? Why ain't you repost? Bitch, repost. You don't ever repost. I can understand. Be Girl, like, I turn them damn notifications off and politely go I to mean, bed. I can see that too. But I can, <laughs> I, I can, I can, I'm saying, I can understand. Like, it's different if, 15,000 people are doing it. And you be like, God damn, shit, I ain't doing shit else. Like, nah, fuck it. Um, but we're also older. We also this grown true. because I remember I put up a post and I was telling a girl I was going to beat her ass 10 years ago. I would never do nothing like that now. Bruh, ever. Ever. I'm over here like cussing and shit. I'm just like, I would never post some shit like that now. So hopefully it's just her being uh, a young. But see, them, them niggas do it. Yeah. Well, they do it a little different. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Where you at? Pull up. They do the same shit. I just feel like it's a young, young rich nigga syndrome with money. True. I mean, but that's the thing also. Like, well, that's what happens whenever you give, like, young people. Shit, if I was young and you gave me $12 million. I'd probably, I'd probably pull up for a fight, too. I'm going to be on some wild shit. I'm going to be saying. snorting all sorts of coke. Girl, did you see that video of Chris Brown dancing? He had a cigarette in his hand. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, that tickles you. <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> oh my god uh, fam, i don't i don't know it's something about seeing people with cigarettes that just like do something to me <laughs> <laughs> when i saw i said <laughs> i know damn Christopher well Maurice brown chris can't hand that off to nobody i'd rather see chris with a, with a crack pipe than a cigarette <laughs> <laughs> i don't know why it was so funny to me, bro. <laughs> chris brown talking about everything you do is amazing <laughs> And they like, oh, you know the internet. Oh, here goes Chris showing off his killer moves. And Chris got a whole cigarette in his hand. Girl, Chris don't, don't look like a crackhead because he got money. Bruh, he, I, he does. But I'm saying, like. He looks like a functioning addict. And what is that? And the cigarette makes sense. That's something, that's something Shardy would do. Any crackhead that you feel Facts, like. that's, that's literally what I thought of. I'm going to give you $5 dance for me. All right. All right. Give, give me in the, in, in Lucy. <laughs> Play the music. Anything you do is amazing. <laughs> I got what you need. Crack is what I need. Do a you backflip know my, you and know everything. Rock little baby. Like, hell yeah. Chris is just a, a crackhead. With, with hit. 